Well, good morning, everyone, and hope y'all staying warm out there today, because we know the cold weather has got here, hasn't it? But anyway, uh, today's uh, November the 13th, and hump day, a special hump day for me, because believe it or not, today's my birthday, and it'll be the first time ever I'm turning 65. I won't do that again. Next year, I'll be uh, 66, I guess. Anyway, what we gonna be talking about today is some G blues. I'm playing my old Fender Strat here, but what I wanted to point out about this, and I got my pedal board down here, we're gonna create a loop in a minute. But B B7 shape. Hit a B7. Move it up one fret. creates a C7. Move it three more down. That creates, still holding the B7 shape, that creates a D7. Alright, now when I'm playing that B7 shape, I'm letting that bottom string ring. I'm going to avoid the top string. I'm skipping it. But now, this second string right here, I'm muting it with my finger. So the only strings you're going to hear when doing that is that and that. too far away but when I'm doing that G chord I like to hit my second string down shape. You come down here to where you would do your D chord. That's also a G. Start my looper. I got my looper pedal down here. I got my overdrive. Might kick in some overdrive here, but let's get started with the song. And it's in the key of G. It goes to C7 or C. Then back to G. Then back to C. Then down to the D7. I like to slide in like this. Slide back out to the sea. All right, let's 
see what we can come up with here.
Closer up action on the hands or explain it a little better. I can zoom in and do that for you also. And I'm just sitting here enjoying myself this morning on a cold morning. I think I'll go out now for my birthday and give me a cup of coffee and have a cigar. Anyway, stay warm out there. <laughs> 